So with zucchini season around the corner, uh, now's a great time to start making some recipes that showcase this incredible fruit. Just like I've told you in the past, zucchini is actually a fruit and not a vegetable. Anyways, with that being said today, we're making stuffed zucchini with rice and vegetables. This is known in Spain as calabacín relleno de arroz y verduras. And let me tell you, this dish has so many beautiful flavors to it. The recipe is so easy to make, and it's all done in about 45 minutes. Folks, not only these stuffed zucchini super delicious, but they're actually very healthy for you, as with each bite, they're gonna fill your body with so much goodness. All right, let's begin by grabbing a couple medium-sized zucchinis. These have already been washed and patted dry, and cutting off about half an inch from each end, which is one and a quarter centimeters. Then we'll cut the zucchinis in half lengthwise. And using a spoon, we'll scoop out the flesh from the zucchini, making sure to leave a border at the ends, that way the ingredients can stay in there. And as for the pulp from the zucchini, we're also going to be using it in this recipe. Then we'll season the zucchinis with a kiss of sea salt. And then we'll add them cut side down over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath. And let me tell you, by using this method, that salt is going to extract the water out of the zucchini. That way later on when we cook it, it keeps its beautiful firm texture. In the meantime, let's start making our rice. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat. And add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After a couple minutes, We'll add in one small onion that's been finely chopped, one red bell pepper that's been finely chopped as well, four cloves of garlic that have been roughly chopped, and the pulp from a zucchini, which I finely chopped, and I did add it into a fine sift beforehand and squeezed out any of the water from it. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix this continuously, that way everything evenly sautés. After about four to five minutes, and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is one and a quarter grams. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way the paprika is evenly coating all the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 115 grams. The one that I'm using, I made by finely grating fresh tomatoes. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together and then simmer it for a couple minutes without mixing the mixture. After about three minutes, and the grated tomato has slightly thickened, I'm gonna add in two cups of vegetable broth, which is 480 milliliters. Of course, you can also use water here if you like, but by using the broth, it gives the rice a beautiful lift of flavors. And we'll also pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. As always, the saffron I'm using is from Golden Saffron, link where you can get some in the description box below. Then we'll raise the heat to a high heat, Give it a mix and bring it to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna add in one cup of long grain rice, which is 180 grams. And I did add the rice into a fine sift beforehand and rinsed it under some cold running water. And we'll give it one final mix, that way all the ingredients are evenly distributed. Then we'll place the lid on the pan and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're going to simmer this for about 15 minutes or until all that broth has been absorbed by the rice. In the meantime, let's start getting the rest of the elements ready to put this dish together. Let's begin by going back to the zucchinis. Using some paper towels, I'm going to pat them completely dry on the inside. This is to remove any of the water that was extracted from the salt. And then we'll add them cut side up into a baking pan that's lined with foil paper. Then we'll crack in two eggs into a bowl. Add in two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh parsley, which is eight grams. You can substitute this for one third the amount of dried parsley. And we'll season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. 
and we'll give it a whisk until everything's well mixed together. All right, let's move back to the pan after about 15 minutes and all the broth has been absorbed by the rice. This is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and using a fork, we'll gently fluff the rice. This is to help separate the grains of rice. Then we'll start stuffing the rice into the zucchinis and you wanna make sure you leave a little space on top. And we'll add the egg wash over the rice. And let me tell you, this is not only gonna hold the stuffed zucchinis together, but it also adds an incredible layer of flavors. And we'll add the baking pan into a preheated oven, bake and roll option, that's the bottom and top heat, very similar to convection oven, or even the bake option with the fan on, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. After about eight to 10 minutes, and the eggs are just cooked through, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the baking pan from the oven. And check it out folks, our stuffed zucchini with rice and vegetables is done. Once again, this is known in Spain as calabacín, relleno de arroz y verduras. Easy to make, beautiful presentation, and all done in about 45 minutes. Let's give one of them a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, calabacín, relleno de arroz y verduras. Look how beautiful this turned out. I'm teleporting it to you. It is absolutely beautiful. The rice has so much Spanish flavor to it. Thanks to the sweet smoked Spanish paprika and the saffron and the zucchini kept its beautiful from texture for an incredible dish. Folks, you saw this easy to make. Uh, give it a try at home in my opinion, one of the best zucchini recipes out there and it truly showcases what an incredible ingredient really is. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Dr. Michael Barbitz, uh, Terry K. Clean, Jesper Holm, Jim Owens, and Tommy Williams. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.